Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you are just in time for more of The Darkness 2. In the last episode, we got our darkness powers back after having it stolen away from us completely. Uh, or at least we got part of it back. Uh, we got the powers, but we don't have the, the thing that fuels it. In this episode, we're going to be hopefully freeing the darkness. And we'll free it all the way inside. Uh... Oh, we got an achievement. This kid's got potential. So I guess that's whenever you max out a single uh, tree. I guess I never did that. I'm doing this for her, <coughs> not for you. Excuse me. Okay, so we got guys and we'll go ahead and come get it. Oh, wrong one. Oh! There we go. Now let's get our shield. Oh! That just. You know, I'm actually quite surprised. Why isn't Jackie at the Kato in the new Mortal Kombat game? His... He fit perfectly with the Mortal Kombat world, you know? People that just brutally kill each other. You cannot tell me that's not true. There we go. Explosive kill right there. And... Oh, there went the shield. He pulls the skull out with it too. Yeah, that guy did not care about the. There you go. Need to get the. What's oh, over here? Oh. Okay, so this must be the black hole. So they sometimes, so instead of dropping a heart, they drop a black hole. And then you can toss that. Whoa. Okay, that that is awesome. Um, just to let you know, I've never got, I've never used a black hole before. So that that's completely new to me. And as you can tell, we are in the we are during the day. Okay. Now this does bring up the, the legitimate question. If we are in our old mansion, like what? Like three? What's wrong one? And you'll get a shield. Oops, wrong buddy. Thing five instead. Um. So yeah, it doesn't seem like the uh, the black hole is really all that worth. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, that's how it's gonna work then. I get you. Okay. So, one thing I should mention, I know it's really late in, in the game talking about this, but I didn't realize I'm holding, I'm holding down a shift right now. I'm now pushing shift. You can't... You don't start running unless you actually already start walking. But to be fair, it's kind of a new thing. A unique way of running, but you do, you gotta get that bit of a runoff before you can actually start, you know. 
Ooh, the Silent Knight. So let's see what this one is. You, you can't tell by looking at it, but this simple strip of iron is one of the worst torture devices ever devised. It's, hmm. it's, it's one of the 12 infamous purification rituals used by the Brotherhood the first time they ever tried to steal the darkness. The Brotherhood simply referred to it as the Fourth, but over time it earned the name the Silent Night. It's easy to see why. A long time ago, the Brotherhood stole a darkness host at birth. They then raised him as one of their own only to torture and kill him in an attempt to force the darkness out. This strip was forced into that unfortunate host's mouth, keeping it open. It was then wrapped around his jaw, leaving a slit where his tongue was inserted. The gag was then slowly tightened. The first thing it did was slice off the host's tongue. <laughs> but then the gag was tightened further, and it completely Ugh. shattered and dislocated his jaw. You think that's horrible? Keep in mind, the host had yet to manifest the darkness. He didn't know what he was. The Brotherhood had raised him since birth to believe he was one of their own. Imagine, the only family you've ever known subjecting you to the most painful, degrading acts they can imagine, and they don't even tell you why. I, I don't want to sound like a yeah. person, it seems to me like that'd be the worst torture of all. Anyway, the darkness manifested right as the host jaw snapped. They say he killed every person within a league of the Brotherhood's monastery that day. Then, the host vanished, never to be seen again. Now we don't even know his name. Yeah, that is, that is screwed up. That is... That is messed up. I mean, beyond, you know. Yeah, th this kind of shows you how, how twisted the Brotherhood actually is. Hey! This is that, uh, the teddy bear. So we'll get this guy. Slice him in half. Oops. I'm coming. Bastard. Yes. Yes. Ooh, ooh, can we buy anything now? I don't think we can. Ooh. <laughs> um that might be useful, actually. Then again, this would be more useful. I don't really need this. Oops. I need to go with the other tree. That one's full. So we'll go ahead and get this. At this point in the game, we're pretty far in that it really doesn't matter what you get. Um. Okay. He's telling us to shoot the lights out, but why? Mm -hmm. These lights are just dim enough not to affect us. Oh, we, we're just back in here. And the big light that we gotta worry about, you know, the sun, is not exactly, um... It's not exactly something we can destroy. Where are these? Yep. I know there's gotta be some sort of fight here. Nothing? Can't go through here. Um... Hmm. Welcome home, Jackie. You know your father was obsessed with the darkness? Built this home on sacred ground. Filled it with darkness relics. He meddled with things he didn't understand. His pathetic attempt to control what he could not. What the hell are you talking about? He never told me. Did he? No. It drove him insane before you were old enough to understand. He reached out to us many years ago. He'd heard of the cipher and was desperate to find it. Your mm. father wanted a cure for the darkness. He wanted a cure for his little boy. Isn't that sweet? Bullshit! He promised us the darkness if we found the cipher, Jackie. 
It took us almost two decades, but we found the siphon. Now we're here to collect his debt to us. Now Again, had they explained the this to, uh, to Jackie, um, I, instead of just going up and just starting fire at the beginning, I'm certain he would have said, you know what, you can go ahead and take it. Sense it leaving you as I speak. Even if you survive this, I just have to wait until your batteries run out. Please take care. Considering that we haven't seen a timer or anything, could mean this could be a very, very, very long way. And we'll go ahead and get some uh, a shield. That was not it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got a headshot right to the to the post. Go and get some ammo for the fuel runner a touch slow. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? You're gonna rip you apart right to your ass. You get every little bit you deserve. Ooh, black hole. Where are you? Where's the next guy? Shield just for the hell of it. That's no, seriously. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Take that. Take the black hole. And I gave up that bolt. Well, I had to. I had to give up that black hole. 
Oh, I could have jumped over this. Mm. Hmm, MP7. Hmm, much better than the UMP. We're gonna have to find another one of these. It's almost identical to the striker. I mean, you know, fast rate of fire. That was 666 points. Something about that seems sacrilegious. Then yes, you did hear me say that I am saying sacrilegious. It's it doesn't it didn't make sense when I said it the first time. But anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here for now. Um, so in the next episode, we'll be continuing our chase again, our pursuit on Victor. Until then, I will see you guys later. Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you're just in time for more of The Darkness 2. In the last episode, we began our pursuit against Victor properly by going into our mansion properly. And in this episode, we're going to be killing a bunch of guys. And then... Yep. Sorry about that, my eye had an itch in my eye. So yeah. You Okay, I'm really getting sick and tired of these whips. I'm really really getting sick and tired of the whip. Like, to the point where it's just... No, they can just... Rotten... Wait, wait. There we go. Where is this guy? Go ahead and burn in the black hole of eternity. <laughs> I enjoyed that a little too much. Probably. I know where you are. There we go. Okay, so We've got MP7s, we've got our striker. I think we're pretty good, pretty good for whatever we might need to handle. Don't give up now. You ass. Uh. And rip him a new one. Got a black hole. Whoa. Oh, the camera just changed there suddenly. Ooh, another black hole. These guys' hearts. That black hole is really good. That black hole is like really, really good. And look at my. Oh, crap. 
Well, it's my second MP7. Okay, so... Somewhere over here, wasn't it? go through here, don't we? Yep. Stay away from the light. Should have thought to break that light first. <laughs> Not like it would have mattered anyway, we had to get rid of it anyway. It's too late to stop, Jack. Standing around. Damn striker, what the heck? My mouse has not been kind to me today. Okay, so. Here we are. We gotta defeat Victor. Surrender or die, Jackie! Um, I believe we're. Yeah, I believe. Yep. This is the last boss fight of the game. Or at least the second to last, I'm trying to remember. Got a thousand essence to play around with. What can we get? Um, yeah, I guess improved shield, but that's not going to do us much good. Um, really, none of the things that we want to get, we can get, so yeah. Um, and wow, frame rate. Pretty bad. Okay, let's see. Can we get a. Nope. Okay, we'll stick with a good old striker then. Got our full ammo, and let's get ready to fight Victor. I mean, are there any. Like, there's one relic we can find. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. This is good. Has gone on long enough. Okay, that's it. Oh no, that's the siphon. Wasn't only designed to contain the darkness. No, he's got the siphon. So destroy the host. Truly destroy the host. So that's gotta be something. Yeah, oh, there it is. That's why I'm gonna rip you apart and take it. And what then? What would you do with it? You're not thinking about giving it to the darkness, are you? Do you have any idea what would happen? You know, I could tell you. But it'd be easier just to show you. I told you death was only the beginning! Okay, so before we go any further, you got the last relic to look at. Wow, okay, shit, where do I start? What you got here is the first. As you can guess by its name, this thing goes way back. Like, way back to the beginning. You're a good Catholic boy, so I know you remember the story of Cain and Abel, how Abel was like, oh, God loves me, and Cain was like, jealousy, wham, and killed him with this. That's right, you're the new proud owner of Murder Stick Number 1, so congrats, I guess. <laughs> now, the story goes that God was so pissed that he marked Cain, set him walking the earth forever, unable to die, but that's only half true. See, Cain brought murder into our world, back in when it was, uh, you know, still new and teeming with free-range evil. This made him a target for certain dark influences, if you catch my emphasis. Hmm. And even if Cain was a brother-murdering jackass, God wasn't gonna let the darkness run a train on him. So, he made Cain unkillable. As you know, the darkness deals in death. If Cain couldn't die, the darkness couldn't take him. Not a bad move on God's part. But God doesn't just hand out free prizes, especially for murdering your brother. So, he set Cain to a task, cleaning up all that leftover darkness from before creation. Unfortunately, for Cain, unkillable did not mean immortal, but that's a different story altogether. So, yeah, I did a little bit of a uh, little tidbit for this, for this episode.
Yeah, <laughs> black hole time. Where is Victor? Where is Victor? Yep, oh, that's damaging him. Yes. That <laughs> does actually damage him. Nice. Okay, so there's So what you're supposed to do when you start firing with blades to slash in the opposite direction to go to go like say vertical you're supposed to go horizontal. So yeah, um See, you made your first mistake right there. You put yourself in front of me, making you a bigger target. That was mistake number one. There! Now get it right this time and The second mistake was sending out guys that could heal me. Or, in, in some cases, replenish my ammo. It's actually a major problem one on one with the boss. They keep seeing guys that can, I can easily defeat. Where's the. No. Welcome to the black hole. Ah, crap. They... These monsters made me drop my black hole. And it didn't go off. So I'm just gonna turn into my T1 shield. Literally! Get it? He becomes an actual shield! Wait, see Victor the in out boy. In out? So this guy. He must. Maybe that's an allusion to like his old life. Maybe that's why he's the way he is now. Because he had like a life in a freak show, and then like he had like a really good talent or something, maybe like, you know, something happened and screwed him up. And your first mistake again is walking in front of me. siphon in the next episode but until then I will see you guys later